Uh, references in the text. Uh, you mentioned Genesis. Is there anything in Leviticus or Exodus or some of the other Pentateuch or uh, the, uh, Torah? The, 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 the Torah, Pentateuch, Torah, uh, those followers of those books have some, some, some interesting insights on how to take care of age-old parasitical problems and pathogens within the body. The thing is, is uh, nothing is new under the sun. them afflict us. The problem is, in my opinion, we have uh, this alternative medicine. You know, we have all these alternative practitioners practicing these alternative medicines. Mm -hmm. And I mean there's people that went to medical school because most of these medicines out today, many of them haven't been out five years, ten years, twenty years. They're all in tests. They're all brand new. It's alternative. It's alternative to the plan. There's a simpler earth science that if you knew how to employ it, you wouldn't have to employ them. Hi, this is Ted Whitten of TheBrainCan.com. We've initiated a, a book project that will probably be limited in scope. We anticipate people will try to shut this book down. In the book, we show you the answer to cancer, a simple solution to the Western condition. The Western condition is a term, a, an umbrella term we've used to throw over all conventionally modern sickness because they all have a common denominator. Rather than simple science or, or, or science of the day that chases all these little minute little connections and ethnic connections and all like this, what they have all missed, they've all missed one thing, the common denominator set. Virtually all sickness in the body has a toxic gas buildup associated with every known sickness, pain, or ailment of mankind. Once that toxic gas buildup is remediated, virtually all sickness goes away. 